the deputy prime ministers, the ministers, leader of opposition, and member of parliament. Let me begin by commending the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Finance for delivering a well thought out and healthy budget. I will be speaking on the increased budget set aside by the coalition government for Fiji's culture sector. These are, as we all uh, would know, fall under the banner of the Department of Culture, Heritage and Arts. The annual uh, budget for the sector has increased twice in a row, and this is a symbol of how government has yet again prioritized culture as an important issue for national development. In fact, over the last 10 years, the world has changed in a way that uh, make our culture even more relevant to our everyday living and addressing global challenges that impact our communities. Fiji, I can proudly say, it is following in this new direction. Mr. Speaker said, the increase in budget is inspired by policies such as the Fiji National Cultural Policy, which will ensure the sector succeeds. The Department of Culture, Heritage and Arts a budget increased to $7.8 million in the new financial year. This is $1.8 million more than $5.9 million given in the current financial year. The highlights that are significant work required to promote the heritage of our people, improve museum activities, so that our story are told over and over again. Support the development of artists, artisans, and creative arts stakeholders. Address the agency, the agency to include culture in our national curriculum so that our children can learn and appreciate our history, our art, our traditions, our indigenous knowledge systems, and many others. Establish a data and statistics collection tool to more ensure that culture sector contribution to our economic and national development is addressed. Mr. Speaker said, the new financial year budget 2024 to 2025 for culture covers a wider range of issue, issues that is beneficial to our key stakeholders and critical to improve the sector. Grant to our national culture agencies increased by $80,000 to $100,000, which will boost their operations. The implementation of our national cultural policy is a priority for the Department of Culture. Government setting aside $350,000 for this work and the development of other cultural frameworks. For the first time, $50,000 will help in a feasibility study to be undertaken to plan for a national culture and arts awards. The award will be first step of recognizing the cultural stakeholders to show gratitude for their contribution to the sector. The Department, the Department of Culture will pilot in for provincial council office, the inclusion of uh, cultural project officers to carry out works of the cultural, ag cultural agencies at the provincial level, so that our service, our services reach our villages. This is the first in our history, and the total of one hundred and twenty thousand dollars has been set aside for this. An allocation for $80,000 has been put aside for review and uh, of the cultural agencies structure and legislation to ensure that our gaining culture institutes become relevant to this day and age. A new grant scheme known as Creative Art Scheme 
will be rolled out to provide financial assistance for our artists, artisans, and creatives that they can develop their skills and talent. A total of 50,000 has been allocated for these activities. Mr. Speaker said, government will allocating $3.2 million for capital works in the cultural sector. And this includes $1 million set aside for the Department of Culture, Heritage and Arts to support the property own owners in Levuka. Levuka town whose houses and buildings have suffered greatly over the year due to the disaster and climate change, and it's falling apart. A separate 500,000 is allocated to the National Trust of Fiji to complete and fencing a newly renovated Levuka Community Centre. Further, $1 million has been set aside for the Fiji Arts Council to begin repair work for a newly established National Art Gallery. The Fiji Museum has been allocated 700000 to look into the relocation of its collection so that it can make way for the building of a new storage building that will also house a research facilities, a library, archives, and laboratory. Let me assure our residents on the island of Owalau that our team of uh, the department are working hard to ensure that the assistant will reach our heritage site, that the future on the island. Mr. Speaker said, our budget is a good budget, as it uh, supports the bigger work that the Ministry of Itauke Affairs is doing to promote the socializing and the Fiji National Action for UN Grip, the Fiji National Action Plan for ID ideal international decade for indigenous levels. We also look forward to seeing all Fijians celebrate their culture and traditions. So respect one another, achieve economic success, social unity, and meaningful coexistence. I will end by saying that culture is an important component of development, and we must rely on our support, really support of our cultural institutions so that uh, they can continue to showcase our unique identity and tradition to the world.